resources must be used in classroom practice. The classroom practice is incomplete without using resources. These resources should not only be the textbook of the students and the notebook of the students. There has to be something more to it. And the students must feel confident that there are some other resources which can be helpful for them to do the activity. The teacher must make it clear in the beginning of the lesson that the students are encouraged to use these resources on their free will. They are ind independently allowed to go to the resource table and get the resources. Just have a look at this video clip. You will have to look for words that you want to use in your ransom note from the newspaper. And I have these newspapers for you in the classroom. These newspapers are actually the resources that are used in the classroom. These resources are very, very important. We can always have our own resources to learn something at home. You can always keep your magazines, your books, newspaper articles. Also, sometimes you can also keep the packaging in which you buy your chips or your biscuits and there will be English written on that. Yes? Have you noticed? Yes, yes. Okay, can anybody tell me what is written on the packaging of the... Yes? Ingredients. Ingredients! You are a genius! Lovely answer! I was expecting somebody to say ingredients. Can anybody spell ingredients for me? How do you spell ingredients? Sorry, my writing is very bad. So please excuse me, okay? Okay. I N G R E D I E N T. Very good. Ingredient. Please excuse me for my handwriting because I don't write on the boards anymore because I'm getting very old, you know. So I don't really write much. So, ingredients. So that means you can get so many resources on a packet that you buy from the market for your chips. So that means we have lots and lots of resources that we can keep in our cupboard at home. And whenever we need, we want to look for a word, we can just go there in our cupboard and open and find resources there. So these newspapers are a big resource. You can get so many words in these newspapers. These resources can be very easily available at home and also in the school. It is a good idea to encourage students to have their own resources at home. They would be very interested to keep their resources intact, somewhere safe, where they can use them when required. Similarly, the resource corner in the class is also a very important thing to do for the teacher. And she may encourage the students to use them at their free will. Whenever they want to use a resource, without asking the teacher, they can just go there and start working on it. This will also lessen the burden on the teacher because maybe some students would be needing some help and every time they would not be approaching the teacher for help. Instead, they would be knowing that there are other resources available in the class and they can make use of it. So using resources which are easily available and which do not cause a burden to the school for spending extra money or the parents because sometimes it has been noticed that teachers ask for things which are to be bought from the market. That is not a very good practice because it further burdens the parents or the school and then these teachers are discouraged to use those things. It is very good to have uh, library resources in your class also to develop your own libraries or if you want you can sometimes take your children 
to the libraries for extra resources. As discussed earlier, we can also use the online resources if in case we have the provision of computers in the school or the teachers can guide the students to go home and look at online resources.